Hello friend, myself Sanjeev Divedi and on behalf of Vidyalankar Institute of Technology, I welcome you all in this conceptual video session for subject advanced algorithm. In this particular video, we are going to talk about flow network. Now, how can we uh, visualize flow network? A flow network can be interpreted like any directed graph and we can use that graph to answer many real world problems. Specifically, we can use to answer the problems related with material flow. Now, where do we need it? The flow network can be used to model liquids. They are flowing through pipes. They are, I mean, the parts through assembly lines, the currents that are flowing through electrical networks, information through communication network, and so on. So basically, any kind of flow, I mean, I mean, you can simply realize the flow of water. I mean, when it gets releases from the dam, you using canals and reaching to different uh, parts of the area uh, we can we, we can apply it successfully in the maximum flow problem what we wish to find is to compute the greatest rate at which the material can be shipped from the source to the sink without violating the capacity of that particular network this is all actually we are intending to determine in this particular flow network problem so this could be very interesting and we can find many real world applications for this flow network problem now how can we define it a flow network let me be represented by any graph g with v vertices and e edges is a directed graph where every edge between the vertex u comma v okay, will have a non-negative capacity so that how we represent the capacity as c u comma v greater than equal to zero means there is an edge so that edge can be considered as a you know, uh, uh, as a passage for that uh, material to flow and the capacity of that passage between uh, vertex U and V must be positive. Now, if if a particular vertex U, a particular vertex pair U and V does not have edge, then we will assume that the capacity for that particular pair of vertex is zero. Now, we need to I distinguish two vertices in a flow network one is a source and another is sink and the graph has to be a connected graph so that the number of edges will be uh, greater than or equal to number of vertex minus one so that's the property of connected graph now now let us define it okay it says that a flow in a graph a flow in a graph from source s to sink t is represented in form of a function the flow in a graph is represented in form of a function f f which will be for every vertex pair so it is v comma v now and it should satisfy three properties the first property says constraint property the first property is constraint property okay now what it says it says that it says that the capacity constraint for every vertex pair u comma v but that belongs to vertex the flow through that vertex pair or through that edge should be less than or equal to the capacity this is it is now there is another property which says q symmetric if the flow correct if the flow through the vertex pair is represented using f u comma v then we should also allow reverse flow through that vertex pair. We should also allow reverse pair through that uh, vertex. So f of if f of u comma v represents the flow from u to v, then even there should be a flow from v to u should be allowed. And and finally it says the conservation means for all vertex u that belongs to vertex pair, correct minus s comma t now minus s comma t means final number of vertex minus source and sink the flow through all these vertex pair if you sum it it should be zero eventually so that how we will conserve it so from s to t eventually eventually the overall sum of the flow from u to v it should be zero this is how we will conserve it so this is about the formal definition now the quantity f comma v it can be positive yes it can be zero or negative and that will be flow from u to v this is how we will define it so this is the total flow total flow from source to v t 
ठीक है टोटल फ्लो नाउ इन मैक्सिमम फ्लो प्रॉब्लम व्हाट वी विल हैव इज इट इज गिवन अ फ्लो नेटवर्क जी विद एस एंड टी एंड वी विश टू फाइंड द फ्लो ऑफ मैक्सिमम वैल्यू नाउ हाउ वी विल डू दैट वन सच मेथड इज फोल्ड फुलकरसन मेथड now in fold fulkerson method we basically concentrate on three ideas there is something called as residual network there is something called as augmenting path and cut now it is iterate it, it implements iterative approach and what it says we start with flow from vertex pair u to v is zero correct and initial flow is zero so the f is initialized to zero for a given graph f from source to t now we need to find any augmenting path p correct if there exist and we will continue doing so as long as the augmenting path exist if there exist an augmenting path p then we will augment the flow f along with path p now there is something called as residual network now given a flow network and a flow the residual network consists of an edge that can admit more flow now what do you mean by that see it says that it says that if c is the capacity of the edge u comma v and f is the actually uh, flow that is passing from u comma v then the residual network from u to v will be the difference between the capacity and the actual flow so let f be the flow in g and consider a pair of vertex u comma v that belongs to vertex pair the amount of additional flow that can be that we can push from u to v before we exceed the capacity of the vertex what we call it as residual capacity so identify whenever i'm writing c f c it is the residual uh, capacity correct okay? additional flow that we can pass without exceeding it now it says if c u v is 16 capacity is 16 and flow is 11 then we can exceed the capacity by 5 take it when the but 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 when the flow is negative then residual capacity is greater than the actual capacity so if my capacity is 16 and flow is minus 4 so it is 16 minus minus 4 that will give me 20 correct so my uh, so my uh, residual network will have capacity of 20 so this is about uh, maximum flow this is about fold full cursor residual network and the capacity so this is about in this video thank you very much